Hello everyone, my name is Ria and today in this video I will be explaining how to enable dynamic routing using RIP v2 that is version 2. So in the pre previous video we had seen how to enable dynamic routing using RIP v1 that is version 1. So in this video the basic difference between RIP v1 and RIP v2 is that uh, while configuring the routers we have to mention that it is for version 2 so as you can all see there are three routers used and uh, over here and we have created I've created a topology using packet tracer so here I have used three routers and to each router two PCs so sorry to this router two PCs are connected two switches are connected and to this router one switch is connected and to this router one switch is connected and uh, to each switch one one PC is connected so for this particular switch the network address is 172.30.1.0 and for this the network address is 172.30.2.0 for this the network address is 172.30.1.0 and for this the network address is 10.1.0.0 so accordingly I have given the in this since the subnet mask is 16 so and for this switch we need only one host so we have to do subnetting over here and after subnetting we will get the subnet mask as 30 and uh, the first usable host address would be 10.1.0.1 so that is why for this PC I have given this address and uh, the routers are connected to each other using a DCE cable so now let us see how to configure the router so I have already written the commands as you can all see first I have written router RIP and I have mentioned that it is for version 2 and then I have given the network address of all those networks which are directly connected to this particular router so we can see from the figure that the network 209.165.200.229 is directly connected to this router and then similarly 172.30.2.2 and 172.30.1.2 so this is how we should dynamically tell the router how to send the packets from one PC to another PC so this is done for all the three routers and once this is done we have to check whether the packets are going from one PC to another PC so yeah sending one packet from this PC to this PC So this is showing the movement of each and every packet from one PC to another PC. Yeah. So the packets have been successfully sent, and uh, we can see that you can see the status over here that it is showing successful. So now let us type some of the commands in CLI. So first of all, in order to see the routing table, we should type sh. IP route so it will show the routing table yeah so we can see that it is not only showing the networks which are directly connected to this router it is also showing the networks it is also showing the remote networks so if I type sh IP protocol yeah, so we can see that the necessary protocols are displayed and uh, if we type sh ip running config yeah we have to give a dash in between when we type this command so it is displaying the necessary information yeah, so 
so that's all for this video thank you